Hi everyone, my name is Zacharias Reinhardt from agenzasbrothers.com and in this video I show you how to create a simple roll-up animation. To achieve this we need three objects, a subdivided plane, a helical shaped curve and a cuboid to deform the whole object in the end. At first add a plane, tap to edit mode and subdivide it with W, subdivide and in the operator panel in the tool shelf increase the number of cuts to 10. After this add a subdivision surface modifier, increase the view value to 2 and click on simple to preserve the shape of the plane so the corners won't be rounded. To create the helical shaped curve add a plane, in edit mode delete two vertices so we just have one edge left, scale this edge down and place it below the object center from the top view. Now click the screw option inside the tool shelf under mesh tools. To get the screw option work right you have to change the axis from Y to Z. So type 0 for Y and 1 for Z. Increase the turns and also increase the steps to get a better resolution. In the end we just need a curve so switch to edge selection and hold down alt and right click on the inner loop of the object. Press Ctrl I to invert the selection and then press X edge to delete all the edges except the inner loop. Now select the last vertex outside and extrude it with E a short distance in the X direction so the plane can move straight into the helical shape. Switch to object mode, press Alt C and click on curve from mesh text to convert the mesh into a curve. If you switch to edit mode you can see the direction of the curve. It must go inside the curve. So if the curve points the wrong way around you have to press W switch directions. At the end add a subdivision surface modifier so the curve looks a little bit smoother. Now rotate the curve around the X axis 90 degrees, scale it a little bit down and place it in front of the plane. Now select the plane, add a curve modifier and under object choose the curve object. If you now move the plane along the X axis everything has to work right. If not you have to change the deformation axis. Now you can simply animate the plane along the X axis and you're done with your roll up animation. To refine the animation a little bit more add a cube, in front view add some loop cuts and then scale it in this way that the complete animation is inside the volume of the cuboid. Now select the plane, add a mesh deform modifier and under object choose the cuboid. Then check dynamic and click on bind. Now the cuboid can deform the plane. To deform the cuboid select it. Now go to object data, add two shape keys with a plus button. Select the second shape key, switch to edit mode and deform the object as you like and you can see the plane gets deformed too. Now we can animate the shape keys as well. Move the pointer in the timeline to frame 1. Move the mouse cursor above the value, press I to add a keyframe. Move the pointer to another point in time and add another keyframe like before. If you now play your animation you can see the plane gets deformed through the mesh deform object. Yeah, that's it with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, tell your friends about it. Share it also on Facebook and Twitter. If you like our work and want to see more videos, you can support us by pre-ordering our new Blender video workshop Movie Scene Creation in Blender 3D. There we show you how to create stunning 3D animated scenes in Blender with special workflows, tips and tricks to get your work done very fast and efficient. Also you may like our Facebook group Weekly CG Challenge where you can improve your CG skills. Every week on Monday we provide a topic and you can create awesome stuff with this. And besides improving your own skills you can also win some awesome prizes. Yeah, hope to see you there. And don't forget you also can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and especially our website agenzasbrothers.com slash en. That's it for the promotion and for the video. See you next time.